Governor Murphy chatted easily with students at New Jersey City University about how his budget plan increases funding for higher education. But he also tried to heal a festering personal conflict with Senate President Steve Sweeney, which escalated after Sweeney blocked two of the governor's cabinet nominees, both African Americans. Murphy's initial reaction last week as he promoted his picks. We have two African American PhDs uh, on our nominated cabinet, the most diverse cabinet. Sweeney took that as a personal attack. He has to regret saying that to go and basically allude that someone's a racist or they're playing racism. I got to tell you, he actually sounded like Donald Trump. That, according to NJ Advance Media. But today, Murphy finessed his remark. I'm not suggesting for one second that anybody's a racist. Let me just say, go back to the lens in which we're seeing this. We have extraordinary talent that we've been able, we've been lucky and fortunate to assemble. We share a common vision. The common ground overwhelms any amount of uh, uh, things or disagreements we see differently. As for Sweeney's crack that Murphy sounded like Trump, he told the reporter who broke the story. Oh, I thought it was, it was, a, good, it was a good line. I'm, I'm a big fan of Steve's, and, and we have an, an enormous amount in common, and, and don't believe everything you you read, or in your, in your case, that you're right. Senator Sweeney texted us a response. I'm happy that the governor cleared this up, and we have gotten a lot done already this early in the administration. Yet much remains unresolved. To fund his ambitious and progressive agenda, including $70 million more for higher education and his free community college phase-in, the governor needs Sweeney and the Democrats to support his proposed tax increases, particularly the so-called millionaire's tax. This is tax equity. Let's get those folks to pay their a little bit more, their fair share. But lawmakers so far have dubbed tax hikes, quote, a last resort. And while state revenues could get a boost from the final months of tax collection this fiscal year, it won't be enough to compensate for the higher taxes Murphy's requested. With Republican lawmakers utterly opposed, the governor, a political neophyte, must work with veteran Democrats like Sweeney. The leadership, by the way, notwithstanding everything you might read, we meet and talk all the time. I'm very confident we'll get our whole team over the goal line, and more importantly, we're going to get the stronger and fairer New Jersey that we're trying to build. Legislative budget hearings are underway now in Trenton, but we're still in the early innings of this political baseball game. As we get closer to June 30th, the budget deadline, they're going to start playing hardball. In Jersey City, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.